like to leave this message to you. As the saying goes, one word is enough for a wise man, but one perfume is not enough for a wise lady. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start. Hi everybody, good afternoon, good day to everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Leonella, and you can call me Leone. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below so you'll be notified every time I make new videos here in my channel. So today, I am here to share to you three perfume hacks. Enjoy the video. So first up, I'll make some honorable mention and a feature perfume for today's vlog. And this is what we call the Davidoff Cool Watches. Okay, so as you all know, and maybe you already know, <laughs> that this is a very popular and well-known perfume because this is a fresh aquatic perfume. As you can see, the bottle is color blue and definitely this will give you a hint that this bottle will remind you of the ocean. It will remind you of the freshness of the sea, of the cool breeze in the beach. So I'll put the notes over here of cool waters and as you can see at the beginning, you'll be able to smell the fruity scent of this perfume. You'll get some pineapple, melon, and lemon on top, and then in the middle, it will change to floral scent. You'll, you'll get some lily over there, you'll get some rose, and there's lily of the valley here. That's why pala, I like this because there's lily of the valley in the middle notes. And on the dry down, you'll get some fruity notes such as blackberry, raspberry, and also peach and also some flowers like vanilla that's why it will end up to sweet scent so this bottle is perfect for the weather in the philippines actually or for some other tropical countries because it's what we call the fruity floral sweet scent aquatic fresh scent and definitely this is a cheap and a good buy so yeah this is cool waters it's aquatic, fresh, fruity, floral, sweet perfume, and I know you love it too. Okay, itaas ang kamay, pati paa, ng lahat ng mga tao, my cool waters jam. So, let's move on now and talk about the three perfume hacks that I'm gonna be sharing to you today. First hack would be when you travel. When you plan to travel, of course, we packed all our things beforehand so my bags my shoes my clothes my toiletries and everything and of course we shouldn't miss taking with us our favorite perfume or our favorite travel perfume so that we will enjoy our travel okay so first hack would be about a tip for you when you go pack your things when you go travel first thing is for you to pick your favorite perfume that you're gonna use for your travel so i have cool waters here I'll dream about, you know, having my dream vacation to Maldives. The Philippines, I love Philippines, <laughs> of course. So, I'm gonna go and get my clothes, my bags, my shoes. And this is what you need to do. So, you'll not break the glass of your perfume. You can use your shoes to hide it, to keep the perfume they're protected. <laughs> Joke! Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, you can hide your bottle inside your shoes, get some socks or some handkerchief or any, any small cloth that you'll be bringing along with you in your travel and then cover it up here so that the bottle will not go shaking and it'll be all protected inside there. And then you get the pair of your shoes, pack it in your shoe bag, put it in your luggage, and yeah, that's our first perfume hack. So let's move on now to the number two perfume hack. This is when you store your perfume. So there are several ways on how to store your perfume. This is to keep the best quality of your perfume intact throughout its whole lifespan. So first and foremost, when you go and buy your perfume, you need to go and check the box or the bottle, okay, for the label of its lifespan. Some or most perfume has 36 months of expiration, so that means to say 
okay you can like have it for three years so we need to keep in mind that perfumes are not to be displayed or not to be kept in our cupboard it's supposed to be used so you use it because when it's already expired the smell will gonna go bad and you'll not get the best quality of it already so go ahead and use your perfume before it expires so that would be our first tip in storing our perfume. Number two, what are the best places or where should we keep our perfume? We should be keeping our perfume first in a dark area, away from sunlight, away from direct sunlight, away from heat and away from light. So that would mean to say it should be in a cupboard, in a cabinet, so, okay? Another thing to consider in storing your perfume is that you should keep in mind to put it in a low level rather than put it in, putting it in a high level because of course, you know, pag mahulog sila, patay lahat ng perfume mo, yuck ka. So put it on a lower, lower cupboard so that it'll be all safe. Another thing for you to consider is to keep your perfume on its original box. Okay, keeping the perfume inside its original box prolong its quality. Next is the no-nos. No-no number one is for you to keep your perfume in the bathroom. Okay, even if you have got cupboard or cabinet in your bathroom, still it's not advisable to keep your perfumes in the bathroom because the bathroom is considered as the graveyard for perfumes. <laughs> And lastly, this is kind of weird, but many perfume collectors do this. Are you ready? Brace yourself. Keep your perfume in the fridge. Yes, fridge. <laughs> yes, you heard it right. Fridge as in refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> yes, other perfume collectors do have their big refrigerators where they keep all their perfumes to, you know, to keep their babies intact and good quality okay so that's our second perfume hack on how to store perfumes so we're down to our last perfume hack this is the perfume hack on where and how you apply perfumes to make it lasting first is to spray the perfume on your hairbrush so this is the hair the hairbrush that i've got here okay so you spray it and you comb it to your hair Okay, so there you go. Do not directly spray the perfume on your hair because of course, as we all know, kahit all base yan, may mga alcohol pa rin yan. So, but if you've got a hair mist, a pair hair mist with your perfume, that would be much better. But if you don't have, you can spray it to your comb and brush it to your hair. So in that way, every time the air blows your hair away the smell of your perfume will diffuse through the air another hack on how to make your perfume last is using a unscented petroleum jelly or what you do is to grab your petroleum jelly okay just get a small amount of it rub it behind your ears okay or into your pulse, to your pulse point where you want to put your perfume on, okay? Over here, at the back of your knees, okay? Your ankle, your navel, and if you can also put here, near your heart, or in between your, your I mean, in your clavage or something like that. Okay, before you spray your perfume. So after applying your petroleum jelly, you can go and spray your perfume on your pulse point. So one sprint behind your ear, another sprint on, on the other side, on the base of your throat or on your clavicle, okay? On your pulse point such as here, here, behind your knees, in your ankle, in your below your midrib or sa pusod sa navel 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 yeah there you go and of course for some weird reason you can also spray a spritz of your perfume in between your breast i mean in your cleavage okay so that's it yeah so the last quick tip that i'm giving to you is for you of course to take shower <laughs> shower before 
we go to events or before we go to work or before we go to parties or wherever. So take a bath. That's the most important thing. Okay? Cleanliness is the best policy <laughs> because your perfume will not do any power or any magic if you're not clean. So go ahead and take a bath, take a shower every day and spray your perfume 20 minutes before you leave the house. And one last thing, apply perfume before you wear your jewelries because perfume will tarnish or discolor your jewelries if you're gonna spray the perfume on them. So before I go and end this video, I would like to say thank you to all of you for watching till the end and I hope you do enjoy the video. Please comment down below in the comment box if you've got any suggestion or any comments, I will try my best to message you back and to reply all of you. And if you've got anything to add as perfume hacks, as of your experience and as of your knowledge, please feel free to share because we are all here to gain knowledge and let's have fun together in the world of sets. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye everybody. Stay funny and fab, blah, blah, blah. Till next time, everybody. Till next time. Bye. Oh no, I forgot. And one thing before I go, in applying perfume on your wrist, do not rub it. Okay? No, 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 because in that way, you're heating up the molecules and you're not getting the best of your perfume. Instead, just dab it left and right, okay? And you can like put it behind your ears.